brassiness typically starts to become visible in the hair a few weeks after a salon colour. That's where Movo Ultra Blonde Shampoo comes into play. We highly recommend using Ultra Blonde every second or third wash, alternated with a colour-free regular shampoo and conditioner such as Movo Totally Naked. Because if you're using Ultra Blonde every wash, your colour can become dull. The question that we get asked the most is how long do we leave Movo Ultra Blonde Shampoo in for? Because of the maximum strength of the Movo Blonde Shampoo, for Annabelle's hair, depending on the desired results that we would want, I would go for a nice, cool, clean blonde. So I'd recommend leaving it in for about five minutes. Depending on the result that we're after, if we were wanting to go for more of a like cooler, silvery tone, we could leave it in for up to like 10, 15 minutes and we'll get a nice like darker, silvery result. Annabelle's hair is quite thick and slightly porous. So in this situation, the power of Movo Ultra Blonde Shampoo will process slightly quicker. All of these things mentioned have to be taken into account when working on fine hair, hair extensions, or overprocessed hair. Movo Ultra Blonde Shampoo can be adaptable depending on the results desired. Brassiness typically starts to become visible in the hair a few weeks after a salon colour. That's where Movo Ultra Blonde Shampoo comes into play. We highly recommend using Ultra Blonde every second or third wash, alternated with a colour-free regular shampoo and conditioner such as Movo Totally Naked. Because if you're using Ultra Blonde every wash, your colour can become dull. When applying Movo Ultra Blonde Shampoo, it's important to focus on the most brassy areas first. Underneath is usually most brassy. We all know that areas of our hair absorb product quicker, so you have the power to eliminate those unwanted tones where you need to. Here we are applying Movo Ultra Blonde to the areas of Tiffany's hair that requires it the most, then shampooing through the rest of the hair. In this scenario, we'll leave it on for up to five to 10 minutes to give Tiff's hair a really good tone and clean up those blondes. Make sure the shampoo is evenly distributed throughout, then leave for the required time. Movo Ultra Blonde Conditioner is the icing on the cake when it comes to completing your blonde hair care routine. Movo Ultra Blonde Conditioner assists in eliminating unwanted yellow and brassy tones from the blonde, grey, bleached and highlighted hair. Movo Ultra Blonde Shampoo opens up the hair cuticle so it can tone unwanted brassy tones. So naturally, the hair cuticle needs to be conditioned and sealed. Movo Ultra Blonde Conditioner will not only seal the cuticle, but add extra toning benefits to the hair. Here's a hot tip. You can coat overprocessed, damaged areas with conditioner before toning with Movo Ultra Blonde Shampoo. This will protect these areas from being exposed to any chance of being overtoned. Movo Ultra Blonde can also be used on coppers, brunettes, and anything in between that needs a little brassy undertone toned down. Movo Ultra Blonde can also be used on balayage, highlighted hair and everything in between. Ultra Blonde will do all of this without drying out your hair. You can achieve many shades of blonde. Depending on the level you've been lifted to or what natural shade you are or how long you leave it on for will determine the result of Movo Ultra Blonde shampoo application.